Ahoy hoy everyone, it is Craig back at Magic Kingdom with another Disney dining review. Before I get started, I want to remind you this is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. If you like our content and you want to support us, please consider booking a vacation through Dreams Unlimited Travel. It costs you no extra money and you get the support of an awesome Dreams Unlimited Travel agent. So head over to dreamsunlimitedtravel.com today for a free no obligation quote. Now where am I eating at today in Magic Kingdom? Well. Fortunately or unfortunately for me, I am eating at Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe because there is a specialty Halloween burger here. And from the sounds of it, it looks like it's gonna be a little spicy, but I'm usually let down <laughs> when it reads as spicy on paper, so I'm not expecting much. And I know it's the Bayou Burger and there's sausage on top of it and pimento cheese. And you know, that can either be really good or it can go really terribly. I'm just not quite sure how it's going to go, but I know since it's at Cosmic Rays, it's going to have that perfect crappy Disney burger with it. Mm. Always love them. So I've placed my mobile order and as soon as it's ready, I'll head inside, pick up my burger, and I'll start eating this Halloween specialty item. The Bayou Burger is officially in my possession. And I am sitting right across from the Tomorrowland Speedway, so if you hear a bunch of loud cars, that is why. But what is the Bayou Burger? First off, it is $12.99. It's a flame broiled, one third pound Angus hamburger topped with jalapeno pimento cheese, crispy and dewy sausage, and garlic pickles served with choice of side, it did not give me a choice in the app like it normally does. It defaulted to french fries. So that's what I got with it. And it is your standard Disney french fries that they have at all the quick service locations. And they serve with everything else here at Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe. And I just have to say, outside of the fact that this burger is served on your typical crappy Disney hamburger patty that's frozen, Everything else looks fantastic. The pimento cheese on this looks great. The andouille sausage looks great. I'm more of a dill pickle guy than a garlic pickle, but with this sandwich, I think it actually might just work out for the better. So I'm very excited to dig in. And I'm not gonna talk anymore. I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's go to the bayou. I had high hopes for this burger and I was expecting it to be good but I honestly was not expecting it to be great. And that is the level I would put it at. This might be one of the best quick service burgers I have ever had at Walt Disney World. And I am comparing that as well to Deluxe Burger. This is so good. And the star of it is obviously the jalapeno pimento cheese. It's great pimento cheese as it is, but the jalapeno flavor in there is over the top. This thing is spicy. It is definitely spicy. So if you can't handle a lot of heat, stay away from this. Because then too, the andouille sausage is fantastic. It also is bringing that level of spice, just not on the same level as the jalapeno pimento cheese. And honestly, in terms of like the garlic pickles, I can't even taste them. I know I've eaten them because I opened up my patty and looked and they're gone, but maybe the garlic flavor is coming through a bit. But overall, the sausage and the pimento cheese are just dominating the flavors. So much too that they make this really terrible hamburger patty not bad at all because you can't taste it at all. So, would I have rather just had an andouille sausage sandwich with this pimento cheese? Probably. But as a burger altogether, I am incredibly happy with this so far. And I have over halfway to go with it. So, I'm going to keep shoving my face and I'll fill you in on what I think. Let's talk about this Bayou Burger because I am obsessed with it. It was so incredibly good and I cannot wait to have it again. I will get this again. And the best part about it, it's available all during the Halloween season, not just during Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So you can get it during the regular day or you can get it during the party. It really doesn't matter, but it's available and I highly recommend it. And I know I said the jalapeno pimento cheese and the andouille sausage were the star, and that still stands. I did have one of the garlic pickles by itself, and it was very sweet, very garlicky. I'm sure in an ideal world that the sweetness from it would have balanced out with the spicy salty from everything else. It just didn't really play in this burger though. 
they would have needed a lot more pickles in order to actually get that balance of sweet and spicy, which I'm fine with. I would rather just have the spicy straight up. And I will say too, the hamburger patty actually wasn't too terrible today because towards the end of the burger, I only had the pimento cheese on it with the burger and it was, it was fine. It, you know, I think it elevated itself by having the andouille sausage, but it was good on its own just with the pimento cheese and the burger. So overall, I'm really happy with this. I cannot believe how good it was. And I can't believe one of the best things I've eaten at Magic Kingdom ever was at Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe. Maybe I'm just in a good mood today, or maybe it really is just that good. I'll never know, or I will, I'm not sure. But that's going to do it for this Disney dining review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave comments, questions, and video suggestions in the comments section. And if you want to support us more, you can book a trip through Dreams Unlimited Travel. Get a free no obligation quote today at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. That's it for me though at Magic Kingdom. I'll see you again real soon with another Disney dining review. Take care. Bye-bye.